Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE News and Rumors. I'm your host, Brandon Hudge. So this news video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. So if you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, get them through SeatGeek. Use my last name, Code Hyde, to check out the promo code and you get $20 off your tickets. That is for first time owners only. So if you see before, just make a new account. You can still use the code and get $20 off for any ticket for any event in the entire world. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today there is nothing confirmed or announced by the David Reese. There's no confirmed news story, so you know what time it is. Ladies and gentlemen, go and get those juice boxes out. Get those juice boxes ready, because it is now time to talk about some juicy, uh, juicy rumors. All right, the first rumor of the day will be about Miss Charlotte Flair. So Charlotte has posted on social media this, like, ice cube that melts down there's a diamond inside of it and her face is like in the diamond or whatever okay that's a cool video to share right but she hasn't really shared anything like that um thus forward so everyone's like oh does that mean she's coming back wrestling we got like to give like little clues and little hints about what's happening so sure that flair is apparently clear she's ready to be back in the debris it just hasn't happened we have an upcoming very large one of the big four upcoming premium live events coming up and that is a survivor series also upcoming soon is the Royal Rumble. So it's the Royal Rumble. So is it which show? I mean, either one would honestly be plausible. I could see it happening in either show. I would vote more for like the Royal Rumble, make it be like number 30 or so. I don't know if I want it to be number 30 though. I mean, that's a big surprise, but we're expecting a Charlotte Flair return. Maybe something bigger, but anyway, she could return at the Rumble or she could return at Survivor Series or something like that. But Charlotte's gonna be back. It looks like very, very soon as she's apparently teasing it on social media. All right, the next room of the day will be about our tribal chief, our true, real tribal chief, Mr. Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns uh, and his uh, schedule going forward for 2025. So uh, this is about more what show he's going to be on, because as we all know, there's a big change happening for Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw is going to be going to Netflix for the first time ever. WWE is on Netflix live every Monday night. There's going to be Raw on Netflix, and uh, basically Netflix has requested a, a, a few wrestlers to be on their show specifically, and one of those wrestlers is in fact a tribal chief, Mr. Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns will be on Raw, it looks like more than SmackDown, he's be on Raw, especially as they start going on Netflix in like January through February, uh, that's pretty much what Roman's show, you're not going to see him on SmackDown as much, but he's still be on SmackDown too. And there's really not much of a brand split anymore, is there? <laughs> like, really, really not. All right, the next room. The next room is going to be about the best in the world, CM Punk. So we're talking about CM Punk. He is now in the War Games match. The Survivor Series, as we all know, shocked the world. Everyone thought it was going to be like Seth Rollins. It didn't happen. So uh, this rumor is saying, as you can kind of gather the information that I just said, maybe this is actually setting up a match between, uh, well, I don't want to say setting up a match. We already had a match kind of already set up between Punk and Rollins. But this is adding more fuel to the promo fire, if you will. Punk being like, you didn't go help Roman. What is wrong with you, Seth Rollins? Turning your back on, on the guy you came in here with and all that. So that's adding to that. Also, there's like a side rumor here about maybe that something will be set up during this match between like a CM Punk versus Roman Reigns kind of thing. Uh, personally, I don't think I see that happening because the, I think the main focus is like bloodline versus bloodline and we don't need more enemies. And then you get the whole issue of The Rock going in there. And then what is Paul Heyman up to and all this other stuff, but Heyman is, is with Punk, you would imagine, but Punk's going to join the new bloodline. I don't see that happening. There's a lot of, like, possibilities of things that could happen in wrestling right now, and i got to say, I absolutely love it because it makes things exciting. You're on the edge of your seat, and you don't know what's going to happen next. All right, the next room. The next room is a very <laughs> interesting one, a kind of out there, crazy kind of rumor to talk about. So this one... I can't believe I'm about to say this. this. This one is about Mike Tyson. We're talking about Mike Tyson in the WWE. So Mike Tyson just had a boxing fight, right, against a WWE wrestler's brother. So we're talking about Logan Paul. Jake. Okay, so he, he boxed Jake Paul in real life, right? It's a, supposedly like a real boxing fight, right? Now there's like a been like a setup for what Logan Paul said on the show. It kind of disrespected Mike Tyson or whatever. That Mike Tyson now might be coming to WWE to face... The guy's brother who he fought... Okay, this is like getting confusing. This is just getting confusing. But anyway, uh, WWE apparently have interest in actually setting up a Mike Tyson versus Logan Paul match at WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas. You heard me right. Literally, Ross, WrestleMania 41, Las Vegas, Nevada. In this corner, you got Logan Paul, who's like kind of a newish wrestler. You know, he, he was a YouTuber. And then you got 
into different things and now he's a wrestler. It's surprising when Logan Paul is actually a pretty decent wrestler. He's a lot of time to rehearse his matches and work on things and learn things, but he is committing a lot to the business. Then you have Mike Tyson coming in, which of course he, he always did stuff with WWE, especially in the 90s and stuff like that. But Mike Tyson maybe coming in for a wrestling match. I mean, obviously, this business is all about making money. Will this match draw fans to the show, make them watch the show, make them want to go to the show, and stuff like that? Absolutely, it will. Look at the success of the Mike Tyson fight on Netflix. It literally made Netflix, like, freaking explode. Like, Netflix was not working. It literally went down and kept buffering for everyone because of the, the demand for everyone wanted to watch this. So, would this draw a crowd? Would this draw interest to WrestleMania 41? Oh, hell yes, it would. Is this going to be the best match in the card absolutely not it's not gonna be is this gonna be one of the biggest like draws for wrestlemania and bring in a lot of casual fans as well as brand new fans to the WWE? oh yes it actually will this is actually a business wise a good idea but as far as actuality it has the potential if it's done right but if it's just like halfway put together it has the possibility to be like oh, don't even do it but i don't know we'll have to wait and see all right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is actually it. Yeah, this is the final news story, the final rumor, the final thing I'm going to be talking about inside this episode of Detective News and Rumors. This is about none other than the great one. This is about The Rock. So this is about The Rock in WWE. So The Rock has an ongoing story in the WWE, as we all know. He's part of the Roman Reigns bloodline story that's completely ongoing, and it's kind of uh, interesting to see where The Rock, what side is going to be on, because the bloodline is now split in two. And maybe The Rock is not going to be on Roman's side anymore now that he's not the champion, now that he's not really the head of the table that is the WWE. It's kind of uh, interesting to see where The Rock's going to lie, especially after Bad Blood and everyone being like, what's going on? So this one's to be about what's happening next to The Rock in the WWE, what's the schedule, and what in the heck is happening? So here what we, here's basically what I got. So The Rock is busy, and that's no shocker. The Rock is always busy. He's a Hollywood movie star. He goes from filming one movie to the next movie with no break in between at all. So he just finished filming some movie and they didn't want it to with the voiceovers. But now he's currently filming like a Moana live action, the Disney and Moana series. If anyone knows that, they're doing a live action movie for that now. It's no longer just a cartoon. So he's actually having to be like performing in front of the camera and not just like in a recording studio recording his voice so it's a little more intensive and it looks like the rock is gonna be busy with that for a very long time and if you don't know movies take a very long time to film literally most movies take a year or more to film uh, like the intensive like being there like every day uh, so i don't know how fast they'll be able to do this one and if the rock's even going to be available but here's the thing if the rock is available which he might be they might have little break days or a little bit of time off for them to do like editing and things like that where they're not he's not gonna have to be in front of the camera if that lines up with survivor series or raw rumble it does if it does however if he is able to be at survivor series or raw rumble to continue this story that they've started he will not be able to be physical because the insurance policies on these movies do not allow them to do dangerous things like wrestling and like compact things. So yeah, basically he would just be able to cut a promo, trash talk a little bit to continue the story or turn on someone or something like that. But basically he can't do anything physical. I don't think unless there's some like special thing within the contracts of the movie that allow that. But nonetheless, we will just have to wait and see. The Rock looks like he's gonna be busy for a little while and may not even wrestle at next year's WrestleMania, which that was like kind of a rumor that The Rock may not be available for WrestleMania 41 to have a match like we thought he would be able to. And, you know, we thought that The Rock was going to be back wrestling a lot of matches this year, and he just he just didn't. He was just, I think that, that was his original plan. I mean, he joined the board of the directors for WWE. He was very in invested in the company, wanting to have more matches, but his just Hollywood schedule just didn't allow it. So, honestly, guys, with the whole Rock schedule and everything, I think he will be at some shows. If it lines up for Survivor Series, then it does. If it lines up for Royal Rumble, it does. I know he'll be at WrestleMania in some capacity, but as far as actually having a wrestling match, getting physical, I don't know. It depends on the movie schedule, and we'll just have to wait and see. So thank you guys, Seth. That's going to do for this episode of WWE News Rumors. Let me know your thoughts on all these new stories and rumors in the comment section down below. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm your one and only undisputed king of vlog style, Brandon Hodge, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.